Wake up, buyer payer people. It's a beautiful day. Go grab yourself another cup of joe and say hello to Jim and Michelle Rhodes on the Buy Here, Pay Here morning show. Take it away, you two. <laughs> hello, everybody. Um, this is... Uh... Not live. No, oh, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Um, it's a beautiful Monday. Uh, we 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 did this live earlier today, and the and the audio was not awesome with Bill and Jeff. Um, saying not awesome is, I, I guess, kind. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> it was pretty awful. So we decided to uh, to re-record and so that we could get all of the audio issues taken care of because the things that Bill and Jeff uh, are were shared this morning um, are really important for everyone to hear. So so instead of doing a live recording for that will be on all of our podcast syndicated stations, um, uh, we're going to be putting this recording. So, so you were watching a previously recorded. You're watching podcast. a you previously you can't, recorded. You can't see your comments. If you comment during the podcast, we won't be able to see that. Exactly. So. Um, we, uh, first off, happy Monday. Right. Um, we had a lovely, lovely time this weekend. Uh, wedding is done and mm -hmm. it just turned out so beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it just, no, no issues, no problems. Yeah. Um, our youngest, uh, girl got married um on saturday and uh i hopefully too it is october hope you hopefully you all got out and had the opportunity to check out some of the fall colors out there because mm. they here in utah oh my goodness they are fully yeah, out in all yeah, their glory no right now so yeah um we have a couple of things coming up this week one of them is lhph summit and um, we uh, we will be there the entire time, and we'll be broadcasting the morning show from the lease here, pay here morning show. The We're lease here, pay here Friday. morning show. I'm going to have to change some of the titles, right? Uh, but we'll be recording. We'll be uh, broadcasting live from LHPH Summit. Um, We'll be there on VHPH Friday. Nation TV, as, so we'll be yes, bringing you some of the speakers as they come exactly. off the stage. We're going to chat with them and bring them to you. Yeah, live. but the morning show will have Bill as well. Right. So Bill's joining us today also, um, and uh, we'll have him back again on on um, on Friday. And then Wednesdays, White Hat Wednesday, we will have um, Tim Lawrence from LHPH Capital will be joining us uh, for that broadcast as yeah. well. So. Is there any else? Show, we need? No, let's okay. bring our All distinguished right. so guests. So we're going to bring in our distinguished guests today. We have two very distinguished guests. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Jeff Martin, who is the CEO of NIADA, and Mr. Bill Elizondo, um, senior twenty group moderator. Yeah, and gentlemen, I got to tell you before we start, I mm -hmm. I chose not to bring out the uh, cardboard. Effigy oh, that I have a bill. I gotta bring it with. You know, to, it started out a long time ago, Jeff. I'm sure you've seen it by now. The the bill introduced Benny on a stick at one of those <laughs> those times when uh, when Ben couldn't be present, uh -huh. and then we kind of took it a up hit. a notch with Bill on a drill. But I, I'm afraid. I'm always afraid somebody's going to find that cardboard effigy in the card in the closet and ask me to explain that. Why do you have this Because it's, it's cardboard in the figure? studio closet yeah, right, right now. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're happy to have the real Bill Elizondo uh, on the show this morning and Mr. Jeff yeah. Martin. Welcome, so, gentlemen. Yeah. So Jeff, we might just start with you. And of course, we've got this, uh, this uh, forum coming up in uh, November. It's going to be the 13th through 15th in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. and, and so you might just share with our listeners what they can expect out of that format. Yeah, absolutely. We're very excited about it. But first, let me say thank you for having us on. We appreciate it. Uh, congratulations on the wedding. Uh, and there's only one uh, Bill Elizondo. And in person is the only way uh, only to way. really experience yeah, Bill. Yeah, it's really no, true. No, no Although it's fun to see him spinning on a drill. That was kind of fun. But go ahead. I get your <laughs> right, point. Right. Yeah. Well, so we're very excited. It, it's a it's a very unique concept, something that's different than, uh, than NIDA has ever put on. And I think it's going to be different for the attendees, anything that they've ever attended as well. We're going to have a general session that's going to start on Monday, and we're really going to talk about the industry at a very high level. We've got some, uh, some fantastic panelists 
who are going to um, be uh, a part of the, the opening general session. And then we're going to talk about benchmarking. We're going to talk about some of the things that are going on in the industry, some of the numbers that we're seeing. Um, and then on Tuesday, the dealers are going to break into uh, roundtables. The roundtable conversations are going to be led by seasoned veteran dealers. Uh, and what we're going to ask the dealers to do at that time is to have uh, some peer to peer training and really drill down on the things that we talked about on Monday. At that time, we'll also have concurrently some breakout sessions going on uh, with our NIEDA moderators and the NIEDA moderators will be doing the same thing. I know Bill's going to talk a little bit about this, but they'll really be drilling down on, you know, we talked about what's going on at the industry level, but how does this affect you at your dealership? How can you go home and make changes tomorrow uh, that, that will, you know, potentially affect the bottom line. And then we'll come back on Wednesday morning and we're going to talk about some of the best practices that we heard uh, throughout the event and, uh, and some of the hot topics that we discussed. So it's going to be, it's very, very different because it, there's so much peer education going on. There's going to be a lot of hands-on training. You're going to be given a um, material on Monday afternoon that you're going to then use throughout the week to kind of fill in the, fill in the blanks. Um, you know, it, uh, everybody's interested. Everybody knows how long a vehicle sits on their lot, but do you know how long a vehicle sits on everybody else's lot and how long and how has that changed over the last, you know, six to 12 mm -hmm. months? That's the kind of information that we're going to share and then talk about how we might make some improvements in those areas. That's Excellent. so good. We know, uh, dealers value the peer to peer education. I mean, obviously the success of 20 groups for decades is an indication and what we see on social media of dealers mm -hmm. talking to dealers and learning from each other. It's, it's a, a nice opportunity. And so Bill, I know that you'll be there as a moderator leading some uh, education around, uh, uh, the buy here, pay your side. So you want to share with us what your role will be? Sure, absolutely. Uh, so uh, myself and the other two moderators, uh, Ben Goodman and uh, Dave Brotherton, uh, we're going to have our own uh, presentations that we're going to be doing and or discussions that we're going to be having. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, recon and, and inventory uh, collections and underwriting and then uh, sales and marketing. So we're going to have these and the opportunity for everybody to be able to, to roll right into the other one. So, they won't miss a thing. I, I think the biggest thing that, that I can at least talk about in, in our roles that we're going to have is we're going to have the opportunity to, for everybody to be able to go to just about every part of whatever they want to hear. Uh, there's not going to be anything they're going to really miss. So although we want you to bring as many people as possible, <laughs> mm. at the end of the day, I, I think the most important thing is that, you know, people say, oh, which one do I go to? I really want to hear Bill. Yeah. They don't really say anything, after that, but, but uh, you know, they, <laughs> but, but they no, they they want to hear the other moderators, which are you know phenomenal individuals, of course, as well. And uh, so the opportunity for everybody to go and have a chance to listen to a little bit of everybody, as well as the the um, uh, the roundtables. Uh, this is going to give another chance for everybody to be able to go to through these roundtables and not have to be stuck in just one. They can continue to go and go to the others as well, which. Um, as Jeff is, is uh, probably, you know, they used to do this and have done this and they continue to do it at TIDA. Uh, so, you know, he's kind of brought that over to NIDA and we're excited about it. Uh, this is going to be a, a great opportunity. Um, uh, the general session is going to be phenomenal. We're going to be there to be able to speak to uh, and listen to uh, uh, Don Griffin. Um, uh, I want to say Jim Wright and mm -hmm. then also um, yeah. Daniel Q. Right. Um, just took me a second, I but I got it. I knew I was going to get there. Um, wow. So, um, I mean, you talk about some of the, the leaders in the industry and the people that can give us some great insight. These are going to be the guys. So so looking forward and they're going to answer questions, be able to have those. And, and the moderators will be there to be able to hand them out, uh, hand over the microphone to someone to be able to ask those questions so everybody can hear it. Because I think that's the biggest thing that, that always happens. Someone asks a question, nobody hears it, nobody listens. So anyway, but I, I, I can go on and on. Uh, but uh, I, I think uh, this this is a, it's going to be really exciting. And I'm glad to have it in my own home state. Yeah, you don't have as much to travel you, as far. Oh. I'm I really, uh, Jim and I were chatting too about uh, the lineup you've got for that opening um, uh, general session. What a powerhouse. And, you know, these are dealers that have really um, just created some successful businesses. You're talking and about a very wide footprint, Jeff. Very wide footprint. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I would say not only is it a, a wide footprint, you know, when you talk about JD Byrider, Tree Calor, Ganesha, Car Hop, there's a, a rooftop in almost every state uh, in the United States. So, wow. you know, when we first started contemplating putting this together, we really wanted to have some people come in and be able to talk about um, the, the industry, people that have their finger on the pulse of the industry. And so we were looking for that that type of dealer. We're obviously very excited that they're, um, they're participating in the general session. But the other thing, too, is they're really three very different models. Um, and, you know, we talk about this all the time in the independent space. There's a lot of different ways to be successful here, right? There's not just one model that's successful. And so we didn't want to have three people on a panel that all operate in the exact same um, yeah. or use the exact same model. And so you'll, I think you'll find with these uh, three or really with these four different dealerships, they have very unique and distinct models from each other. So I think that that's refreshing. If I'm a, if I'm a dealer out there listening to those individuals to understand that there's more than one way to be successful in this industry. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. That, yeah. Those the, uh, the three that you mentioned there, more than a hundred rooftops, I think you and you said most every state in the country. And I, I'm understanding they have tens of thousands of accounts. So you're talking about people who really are, you know, have high level analytics and are have that finger, you know, on the pulse in a different way. So it's, it's going to be yeah. really interesting to hear from them and their their outlook and their perspective on the industry. And then I want to mention that your your uh, veteran dealers got you, you've got some really experienced dealers that are going to be sitting at those roundtables. I've got the list here, so let me go through it. You got Dan Francis from Indiana, Ben Libby out of California, Tracy Myers in North Carolina, Eddie Hale in Texas. You got Mark Jones also in Texas. That's uh, MCMC there, and then uh, Luke Godwin uh, that everybody knows from the Independent Dealer Podcast. He's out of South Carolina, and then Chad Randash in Montana, mm -hmm. who was a recent guest of the Morning Show. Yeah. So, yeah. We're, uh, we're we're just really excited about what dealers can. Boy, if you sit at a table, any any of those tables, then uh, you're going to have a chance to learn a lot from people who have been there, done that, and done it successfully. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bill. I, I, I saw Bill was taking a deep breath there, but let, let me just say, and it kind of goes back to, to it, it kind of goes back to the very beginning when we talked about building this education and making sure that we have some diversity. Part of what we're going to do when you register for the event is we ask some questions that gather some demographics for us on what type of dealership you have, how many employees you have, how long you've been in business, do you have a service department? And then what we're going to do is we're going to match those dealers up so that in their 20 groups, they're talking to dealers that have similar uh, size businesses or, or businesses that kind of match their business. And then obviously with the, you know, we, we could not be more excited about the, uh, the lineup of dealer moderators that we have moderating these conversations. But it's not really about going and hearing Mark Jones talk specifically about what MCMC does. That's not the structure of this. The structure is you've got an expert standing at the front of the room, but it's really about the peer engagement and hearing not just from one dealer in that room, but hearing from you know 12 to 15 dealers in that room on how they operate so that you can share ideas uh, with uh, amongst your peers. One of the things that uh, when we chatted before, um, I asked how about how long each one of these um, dealer discussion groups were going to last. Do you want to um, talk to a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. I, I know Bill has said that you could go from round table to round table. And I want to make sure that, that we clear that up. You can't go from round table to round table. You're going to be in your round table the entire time. And so in the morning, um, if you're assigned to a round table in the morning, you'll be assigned from nine o'clock until noon. And then we're going to take a break from noon to two. And we're going to be in the dealer lounge. And I know we're going to talk about that a little bit later. And then from two to five, there'll be another round table. You'll be assigned to one of those round tables, but it'll be a total of three hours. Uh, and uh, Jim, I, I know you've participated in the um, events that we've had in Texas in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we've always found, those those roundtables were about an hour and 15 minutes. And mm -hmm. what we heard every single time is that's not enough time for the amount of information that we're trying to cover on that agenda. Uh, we feel like three hours um, will, will be enough time for us to cover the agenda. Um, but to answer your question, Michelle, yes, each person will be in a roundtable for at least three hours. And then outside of that, they'll be in the uh, concurrent um, uh, tr training sessions that Bill had mentioned earlier. Excellent. And, and then how are you determining who goes to which round table? Yeah, again, it's going to be on the demographics that they provide when they register for the event. Excellent. So depending on, you know, what we don't want is we don't want a dealer in a round table who doesn't, you know, if they, 
like say they use a third party for all of their service. Um, and then you've got another dealer who has uh, their service department is all in house. We want to make sure that you're in a group that has similar business structure to your, your business structure. That's wonderful. That's Good. wonderful. So Bill, you caught your breath earlier. Do you remember what you were going <laughs> to say? Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Okay. Well, number one, sorry for the uh, misinformation on, on the, uh, the round tables. I, you know, I guess I was just too excited about the fact that, you know, they were going to be able to hear, but you know, I know that, that just, like in our 20 groups, uh, that is a great opportunity because that's a lot like the hot topics and, and the discussions that we always have as well. Uh, so, so I think that that's going to be some some great information, no matter whether you're going to be able to rotate or not. At the end of the day, you're going to be with like minded uh, members uh, who are going to be similar in size and or type of business. And it's going to give you a lot of opportunity. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention to you is, you know, from a lot of my 20 group members, I, I still I'm getting text messages and emails, hey, you know, uh, sign up, you know, when, you know, how do I get a discount? Do I do this, whatever? It's an early bird sign up uh, that that uh, you can get till uh, Friday the 13th. Don't be scared. It's okay. Uh, it, it's it's going to come. Uh, but the, the other thing uh, was, you know, this is, these are, are individuals that have been around this business for a long time. And, and what I was going to also mention was outside of the meetings, in the evenings, during lunch, during the times that you're going to be able to go and, and network, there's going to be individuals you might sit next to that might be somebody that you either A, aspire to, or you'd love to find out or love love to meet them for the first time. And um, because a lot of these people, as you all have seen, are on social media, they answer questions, they talk about different things, yeah. and it gives all of us a lot of a better opportunity to be able to have that availability of individuals that we can talk to that we might not have ever had that chance to talk to in the first place. So, uh, you know, th this is definitely going to be a, a, a great, and it's only buy here, pay here, and or lease here, pay here. You know, yeah. so at the end of the day, we, we've got opportunities where it's going to be those two entities that are those two groups that are going to be out there and going to be talking. So it's so definitely some good stuff. But the one last thing I was going to say, we're going to have a great moderator moderating that general panel, um, that general session. Uh, and that's going to be Nick Marcosian. Um, oh, yeah. I had a chance to talk with him um, in person and let me, he's beyond excited. He's, yeah, he yeah. loves every bit of this. And most people who know Nick uh, know that he just brings a lot of energy, yeah. um, a lot of knowledge, a lot of wealth as far as information and insight. Uh, so definitely looking forward to that, but that's going to be, you know, that in itself kind of tells you what we're trying to accomplish, which is, dealers and members talking to members and and or dealers talking to dealers which is at the end of the day probably the most important thing for anybody to to listen to it's not anybody that's going to be selling you something it's something that's going to give you insight and information yeah two things there um one is i'm kind of getting that this is like a mini taste of what a dealer 20 group is is about so for those that enjoy you know this the, there's going to be a lot of of really rich content value because a, a dealer 20 group is you've got a set de uh, uh, dealer panel, basically a set right. amount of dealers with a moderator. And then you get together and you kind of do some of the same stuff that we're going to be doing at this conference. Correct. Correct. So it's, 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 that's fantastic. So you mentioned also, uh, we were talking vendors. Um, uh, will there be an expo hall? Question for Jeff. Jeff. Yep. Uh, so the short answer is no, there will not be a traditional expo hall where you walk through the expo hall and, you know, everybody looks at their shoes and tries not to make eye contact. Um, <laughs> this this is actually going to be a dealer lounge. And um, we have uh, key vendors and sponsors who are participating in the vendor lounge. And so every time that we take a break, we're going to go into the vendor lounge. And the idea is that you interact with these vendors. They bring a lot of value to our industry. As you guys know, they see more dealers than we see on a daily, uh, on a daily basis. And they get to visit with a number of dealers. They've got products and services that will help us ultimately as an industry, um, you know, get through this rough patch that we're in, but also a lot of these vendors and a lot of these um, uh, sponsors have, have seen this before. And so we're going to strongly encourage our dealers to go out and spend time with them, but not necessarily where I'm standing behind a booth and I'm talking to you specifically about my product. I am going to talk to you about my product, but what we're really hoping we're going to foster is more of a conversation about the industry as a whole. Um, you know, we're not necessarily looking at this as a, 
I want you to come talk to me and let me talk to you about something that I can sell you. I want to talk to you about the industry and talk to you about ways that I can help you as a, as a dealer. And so that's the mentality that we have. It's very, very different, very unique than anything that we've done in the past. But I'll say some of that too, you know, Jim and Michelle's, because that's what we've been hearing from the vendors is, uh, hey, can we do something where we're a little bit more interactive with the dealers and not necessarily the, um, the expo? And so uh, we're very excited. Um, I will tell you, we're almost sold out of the spaces that we have available. Um, but we feel like it's going to be a very unique experience, just con continuing on that theme of hands on and how do we have, you know, true uh, interaction uh, and networking, not just among the dealers, but also among the, the sponsors and the vendors. Yeah, it's exciting. I think the uh, the format is intriguing and, and mm -hmm. certainly dealers need to be aware we're, you know, as of this recording, we're at about 35 days from the event kicking off on uh, November 13th. That's a Monday. It'll be Monday through Wednesday, 13th through 15th in Indianapolis. Uh, this week, they've got five days to take advantage of that early bird to get that hotel room. So we want to jump yeah. in there and grab that for this week. And then Jeff, I want to take the opportunity while we're together to talk to our buy here, pay your listeners. We we, we hear a little bit of chatter here and there about uh, the future of a conference specific for the buy here, pay your industry. So maybe you can speak to that. I know you're working with the board on, on many of those kind of things, but what is the outlook for a buy here, pay your specific conference hosted by NIEDA? Yeah, absolutely. So let me start, Jim, by saying, you know, we've got a board and we've got a team inside of NIEDA that is committing to delivering what our members want. Uh, a big part of being able to do that is to make sure that you're listening to our members. And we feel like that we have uh, uh, certainly in the last six to eight months, we've been doing a lot of listening to our members and, and not just the dealer members, but also the associate members to make sure that we can deliver uh, what it is that they need. Um, the short answer is yes, we are um, excited about continuing to have a buy here, pay here specific education program. And I want to be very clear, this is not a convention. This is a buy here, pay here uh, training. Um, you know, Michelle, you had said earlier, it's, it's similar to a 20 group. If you're a part of a 20 group, you're going to understand exactly what it is that we're trying to accomplish here with the peer to peer training, the hands on uh, networking opportunities. If you've never been a part of a 20 group, I can't think of a better opportunity to come yeah. and be a part of this program. And so I, um, we may change the time frame as far as when we're offering the buy here, pay here uh, training. And, and we're going to stick with the buy here, pay here dealer forum as far as being a name. But um, but yes, the, the intent right now is absolutely we plan on continuing to offer a, uh, a big buy here, pay here event. Very wonderful. Nice. And so, yeah, it's an opportunity folks get to uh, Indianapolis and spend a little time yeah. there. So we're we're excited. And as I said earlier, we, we just think the. Um, the education is always going to be important for buy here, payer. But wow, these times are difficult for buy mm -hmm. here, payer dealers. A lot of struggles, and and so it's going to be, uh, you know, more important than ever to be on top of your business, on top of your numbers, mm -hmm. and have peer to peer information. So you you've created a, a great opportunity for folks to uh, to get out there and soak up a lot of good stuff. Uh, I you, I know you mentioned in our the, the live recording that we did underwater earlier today, <laughs> I know you mentioned in that one, that uh, the, the dealers are going to have a booklet to be able to take through the sessions. And so I, I just can hear mm -hmm. that they're going to have booklets yeah. full of information by the time they leave Indianapolis. So it's a great opportunity yeah. to get a lot of education in a short period of time. I would say too, you know, I, and I'll reiterate something that I have said so many different times is if you're not already a member of NIADA, join your state association. You have an automatic membership to NIADA through your state association. And that money that you spend on um, your membership for the state association, uh, we, we just, we just wrapped up the, um, policy conference. the policy conference on Capitol Hill in Washington, DC. And a lot of the dealers and and people within NIADA were there, and they're there fighting the fight for all the dealers, regardless of whether or not you are a member, they are there fighting the fight. And so part of those proceeds go to doing things like that. And so that's money well spent, is to be able to improve your experience as a dealer, but also it's being having access to conferences like this and all of the different pieces of education and support you get from your state associations and your national associations. So if you're not already a member, please find, um, uh, you know, check through the NIADA website, what state association that you can join and please do that. 
this is a great opportunity to go and be a part of something that is um, on a national level, just about buy here, pay here and lease or pay here. And it's such a great opportunity to get some really rich education and connection. Right. Um, meeting other dealers, meeting the people that are out there fighting the fight for you, you know, being able to to have the ear of someone, if there's something that, that you feel mm -hmm. like, you know, I, I want to have my voice heard too, they'll, that they'll all be there. So thank you. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so Bill, do we know, it. is there a Colts game on the 12th of November on Sunday, the 12th? Do we know? <laughs> Can I get in there? You know, uh, if there is, I might not be watching that. I did watch my Cowboys last night, uh, just get oh, demolished yeah. by the San Francisco 49ers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so for all those who say, well, I didn't know you were a Cowboys fan. Well, you know, they're, they're really, I, I'm not a Texans fan. I was a Houston Oilers fan forever, but then yeah. they left me. Um, and so, uh, they left Houston at least. So, <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, I don't know, but you know what, we'll have to go and we'll have to check that out. I, so I will up. tell you that there is a game on Sunday, but it's not in Indianapolis. In fact, I think they're playing in Germany. Um, but oh, I yeah. think it's a, yeah, I, I think it's, it's, uh, they're playing somewhere over in, in Europe. Okay. Um, Hey, real quick, if you don't mind, I do want to just, just touch a little bit on, on what Michelle said, you know, the greatest responsibility that we have as an association is growing the influence of the association so that we can protect the industry. And what we were able to do in Washington, DC, because of the dealers that showed up, we had over 70 dealers who showed up, the sponsors, the vendors who showed up and made that possible for us to go to Washington, DC. We scheduled over 120 meetings with legislators, talked about issues like vehicle selling rule, catalytic converter, uh, right to repair very important things that are going to affect you at your dealership. Um, so uh, thank you for bringing that up, Michelle. Certainly thank you to the dealers who, who did participate. Um, and we'll look forward to seeing more of that in the future. Uh, I've, I've said this numerous times and I'll continue to say it. it is the primary responsibility we have as an association is to grow the influence of the association so that we can protect the industry um, and, and protect the members who are part of this industry. Yeah. I love it. Well, love gentlemen, it. we should let you go. We yeah. know you got busy schedules, and uh, we're uh, we're glad to have a chance to share a little bit of the news about this uh, the super forum or the forum rather is what we're calling uh -huh. the dealer forum. So uh, yeah, it should be really excellent opportunity for dealers to get in there uh -huh. and uh, spend some time with one another and get uh, educated. Go ahead, Michelle. Sorry, I, <laughs> she had something to tell I was doing a, a bill intake. A bill, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just again, guys and uh, gentlemen, anytime, anything that we can do to help. Please let us know. We are we are some of the biggest fans of of um, what the national and state organizations do for dealers, and you know any way that we can help. Um, and and the buy here pay your morning show has like seven or eight listeners now, so you yeah. can always reach them. <laughs> here, so. I think I saw more than that this morning, but you know that's beside the point. You know, I'm just glad that we came back and we, they can actually hear us and they can uh, listen to what yeah. we actually yeah, were saying. That, uh, yeah, yeah. Hear an echo. Hey, but exactly. thanks again, Jim and Michelle, as always, um, you know, uh, from the beginning when you guys started this uh, over 200 episodes ago, uh, you know, it's been fantastic. The, in the information and the knowledge that you give and offer to uh, the, the buy here, pay here listeners and, and just the industry itself has been fantastic. So so thank you very much for what you guys do and, and uh, even having Jeff and I on uh, the show today. Yeah, of course. It's Michelle and I feel like we're just getting started over here. So yeah. yeah, we thank you gentlemen for making time and we uh we look forward to having you back many times in the future. Sounds all right. Thank you. I'm gonna put you all backstage, stick around for just a second, and then we can say a proper goodbye when we're when we've wrapped up. Thank you guys. Okay. Um all right. Uh excellent. Yeah, so just a reminder, we'll see Bill yep. again on Friday morning from uh, San Diego. We could talk a little bit of leasing. And uh, so, yeah, we look forward to that event. And so, again, stay tuned. We'll have information on our Wednesday broadcast to release soon. All right. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us.